Hi, Aries. I just rolled you and it looks amazing. Your energy is going to be amazing. So you have Aries sun in the fifth house. You're moving into the fifth house. This could be like the fifth place that you're living in your life or in a specific place, a specific city or town. So Aries, I see a lot of fun coming in. This is romance. It's dating. It's exciting energy. A lot of happy vibes. The sun is shining. You know, you're getting that vitamin D here, or that's what this feels like. Like the energy is just very joyous and happy and creative. And I feel like you feel at home here. You feel at home in the fast paced, kind of like fun energy. So I'm getting that you're getting a lot of attention, especially in dating. There may be a specific person who sees you as the apple of their eyes specifically. I'm also getting there's ideas about children coming in. Okay. There's a happy energy here. So let's see who is in your reading. Aries. I feel like you got upset with somebody as well in the past. And when you thought about it, you're like, it's not that big of a deal. Why did I get worked up over that? Or, you know, water off a duck's back. You're not upset anymore. You're saying, yeah, you know, it's no big deal. So Aries, you don't hold on to grudges. You let it fly. You let it go. That's like... Um, innocent, like a child, like children are upset one minute and the next they're happy. Okay. So that's how you're feeling right now. You're feeling happy after the storm or after something disappointed you, you realize it's not that big of a deal. You're anticipating more freedom or more happiness. Some of you are going to travel to a sunny or hot location as well. Show me the person in Aries reading. I'm seeing a lot of fire. So this is Leo. You could be going to a Leo's house. And this is their fifth house. Okay, so someone wants babies with you. Show me the person in Aries reading. Damn, you got a chariot coming through hot. Cancer energy. Okay, yeah. And the fool. Let's get a roll on this person. Okay, the seventh house and Uranus. Okay, Taurus, Uranus, and the seventh house. Wow. This person is quite unpredictable. One minute, they're very sure. They're very decided and ambitious about something. And the next minute, they change their mind. So even though they get like really intense fast, they also change their mind and get intense about the complete opposite idea or, or that's how they're coming off right now. Like... You're having some changes in a relationship with this person. They come crashing into your life. It's kind of like a fast paced energy. And then as soon as they come in, they're out. So this person feels like they're always on the move. Maybe they're in town or they're traveling. Okay, there could be travel. Someone's very serious. Yeah, you are the sun. Something about you with the ace of pentacles. This could be about a sun, empress. Yeah, someone wants children with you. Very determined to like have children, okay? Now, if it's not a child, it's a new beginning. It's like a date. Like if I see that somebody wants to go out with you, this would be like even spending time outside with you. Interesting. This person feels like you are a breath of fresh air. They are surprised by that. Like you're very active. You have a lot of intensity, a lot of energy. You're youthful. You're playful. You, you're like a breath of fresh air. You're like a ray of sunshine on them. They look forward to talking to you, to meeting with you. Yeah, brand new energy. Someone sees you as brand new, like you've been reborn, that you're ready to get out there and try some new things. Let's see. So fourth house, Leo and Uranus. Yeah. So you may be experiencing sudden changes in your home or your family. Like there may be an addition to your family, either through children or marriage. So that's happening. But I'm also seeing you're very happy about your home life. This could be like you scored a great deal or you found a perfect home. Something like that it looks real super happy for you. So you're thinking a lot about your surroundings and the people that you're close with. You are ready to start something new. Like, I feel like you're coming off to this person as a little bit different, but it's refreshing. They're like, whoa, Aries is different. They, maybe you just don't stay in one place for long um, energetically. So 
you break molds often or you break the glass ceiling often and someone's like, wow, I really like this about you. Yeah, something is very, okay. Yeah, there's news about family and home coming in. It's really happy for you, by the way. New energy. Some of you, it's a boy, all right? Show me Aries. Just if that applies, of course, it doesn't always. So temperance, beautiful energy. And the Ten of Swords, you are up and out of there. You're ready to get out of a situation, okay? No wonder you have this new energy coming in because you were waiting or you had been. You're like, man, I'm over this. <laughs> I've, I've been as calm as possible. I've been you know, chilling as much as I could, but I'm ready to get out. I don't want this anymore. So you're making a big drastic change. It's been years in the making or months in the making. You have had this idea and now it's time to implement it. So you may be waiting for that or it's, it's coming in. Something about timing is important here. You know that, you know, it's about timing, but this person's watching you like bust out and you're, <laughs> you're breaking out of a mold here. Listen here. Okay, so 10th house and Saturn. So this could be about your uh, career, okay? Or the way that you show up in society somehow. There, there's something about you changing. You're becoming more um, mature, okay? So for example, this may not be your literal situation. If you have a child, you have to be mature now, okay? So that's an example. Or now that you have responsibilities in your work, um, you have to keep some sort of schedule or act like an adult. Okay. So something like this is happening. Something was draining you. It was a, it was dull. It was terrible. I feel like you hated something when at first you really liked it. Maybe this is a job or a position. Okay. So you're finding a way out of an undesirable dynamic. I'm also getting that you're doing well Whatever you're working on, your efforts, they will pay off. Not up front, but down the line. So yeah, there's still waiting. Something about waiting. So Knight of Pentacles. So you see the person in the reading as very maybe confused or stagnant. Like they suddenly have a blockage with you or they're just experiencing one in general. So you're coming off as like fresh, new perspective, new ideas, new energy. And you're seeing this person kind of like, whoa, I could use some of that. I'm stuck and I'm anticipating a change, but it's not up to me. Or this is somebody who's out of ideas, who doesn't know which way to go right now. They're kind of like set in a way or stuck. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's the second house, okay. Taurus sun in the second house. This person cannot move as fast as you or they can't come with you. If you're moving or you're on the move or something like that, like so this person comes to a screeching halt with you or just in general. So you're seeing them come to a halt or a pause. They get confused and wound up and, okay. So page of wands, we got lovers creeping out. What's this? Okay, three of cups, wow. This person looks forward to what you say and the energy that you bring to their life. I feel like you show someone a different way of life or something, like maybe they're bored and you're really fun, you're really active, you're always on the move, you're always trying something new, and that's what it is, like you are experiencing new energy, and this person likes that, so they're attracted to your light, they're attracted to your excitement, your exuberance, and this person is gonna try to offer you something, they're gonna be communicating with you because they wanna be around you, like this person wants to be around you, or they wanna go with you somewhere, they wanna come with you, okay. Like this person's like, I'm all in Aries. Tell me where to go or where to be. Um, you know, <laughs> like you're the light and you're shining, you're shining, you're showing me the way uh, it's like someone's looking up to you or they stop what they're doing because yeah, I feel like someone stops in their tracks and is like looking at you. Like, actually I want to go where you're going. Huh? So justice, what's this? Six of cups, why justice? 
Page of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles, yeah. What is this offer, Aries, between you two? Because they're overthinking something or they feel like you're the one who's calling the shots. That's why they're on pause. So this could be like you tell someone to wait. It's like, okay, let's go somewhere, Aries, or I'll meet up with you and you're saying, wait, I need more time or it's not time yet. Um, you have to make sure the timing is perfect. Because you want something to be fair to both of you, not necessarily just one person. Okay, so the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Give me one on the dynamic. Two eights. One on the dynamic. Okay, yeah, strength. The Queen of Wands. Fire sign energy coming in again. Okay. Someone's trying to control their impulses. This may be someone who is rushing towards you and you put the brakes on it or someone's putting the brakes. And this is like a time to reassess or make sure that the timing is perfect. So like if you're going to have time off or not, or if you guys can meet on a certain day, it works for both of you. You know, whatever this is, this person feels like they're at your mercy right now. Like you're the one calling the shots now. Like this is like, okay, just tell me when Aries. So I feel like this person's really excited to come towards you, but you're slowing the pace. Or you're kind of like maybe pussyfooting around, even though you have intentions to make moves. Give me one on this eight. But it's like you have to have a proper timing. You know that. Tell me about this eight of wands. Yeah, the four of cups. You're not, that's the thing, four of wands. So someone could be embarrassed about their living experience or their home, or someone's embarrassed about their family. Something is embarrassing or undesirable even. Uh, you could feel like, no, I don't wanna go to your home. Um, just because you don't feel like it too, or damn Aries, <laughs> what's going on right here? Ninth house and Uranus. Damn. So you suddenly change your mind. What, why is Aries changing their mind? Cause okay. All right. Yeah, the tower. I thought so because Aries, um, something's going to come up and it's going to make you change your mind. Now, some of you, this is another person that shows up and kind of complicates your schedule or your thought process. You may also just be feeling like I don't know this person very well. They need to chill out like red flag. Okay. Um, wait a minute. I saw this person in one of your monthlies. Was it a July monthly or... Yeah, Aries, this, there was someone rushing to come in and then you were something about how many red flags. I feel like that was the reading anyway. Okay. There's something that they're saying to you that you're like, whoa, okay. I'm on alert. This person's giving you some sort of like spidey sense, or you're feeling like you need to slow your roll because you need more information. You may also be worried that someone's going to find something out. Tell me this, the page of swords. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Wands. You need more information about this before you say yes, okay? Uh, what is the, what, why is Aries? Because the Four of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Okay. You may feel like a person is not allowing you to chill to have your own ideas, to be able to have enough time to think because they're rushing. And that's giving you bad vibes. And you're saying, look, there's no need to, yeah, okay. Let's get you some advice. Someone's like real intense right now toward you. I'm also getting, by the way, there could be a Virgo and they're having someone hit you up on their behalf. I just saw. 
So be mindful that whatever you're saying, like someone could be like catfishing you on Virgo's behalf or whoever that Virgo energy is or not catfishing. It could be, um, yeah, like this person's friend trying to deceive you kind of thing. Really interesting. Or cousin or sister or something like that. Be mindful. Because it's actually on behalf of this Virgo that they're contacting you. Or they're going to tell them something. Okay, this is a very specific side note. But it's almost like, let's see if Aries takes the bait. So it could be like trying to set you up or trying to lead you on somehow. All right. Yeah, if you receive some weird messages, it's because of the Virgo or earth sign energy. All right. What's next in this dynamic for Aries? Four swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're trying to take a break. You're waiting. This person's rushing too much. Where's um, Aries' outcome in the dynamic? The four of cups. Yeah, it's not going to work. You don't like the plan. It's not aligning with your schedule or with your spidey senses. You've been kind of like, you change your mind because someone won't allow you time or they won't allow you time to figure it out. They won't allow you to relax. You're like, I just want to stay home. I'm just trying to relax or I'll get back to you later. But they're kind of putting pressure on you. Where's What's this person's um, outcome? This person. Yeah, so wow. Here they go. They're surprised. Okay, so the tower. 12th house and Mars. They're getting upset. This person's about to be upset. This is like repressed energies. So they're getting triggered. It's a very familiar energy for this person. It could be a cancer. This cancer is getting triggered that you're like rejecting them or not responding to them. They're getting upset, like really upset with this tower and the Mars energy in the 12th. It's like a familiar feeling or everybody treats me like this, or of course Aries would reject me. Someone's getting like internally destroyed. Okay. Like they're imploding here. They feel like they didn't make the best impression on you. Like maybe if I would have said something different. Maybe I should have approached differently towards Aries. Now their plans are blown to smithereens because you say, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want to meet up. No, I don't want that offer. I'm not interested. This person feels angry. Okay, that's kind of interesting. This is a person who doesn't like to feel like rejected. It, it hurts them and their ego. Okay. So you're going to be like, uh, I don't know. I feel like you just stop being interested and you put a block to this person's plans that they're offering you. It could be like, Hey Aries, I'm coming to see you on this day and time. You're like, okay, cool, blah, blah. But then you get like a vibe or you change your mind and you're not allowed to change your mind apparently because this person hates that you're changing your mind and they're taking it personally because you're not interested. Okay. So someone's upset. All right. It's kind of interestingly. So, uh, because of a rejection. All right. So can I get Aries an advice card? or what can Aries focus on? Uh, wow. Protection, the world, and the Knight of Swords. Person's going to like berate you or push you in your place. That's what they're trying to do. You need to change your passwords or uh, change the access, like block this person. Okay. Don't let them know too much because this person's going to be reactive. They're getting like volatile. This is volatility coming your way because you change your mind. They're going to verbally attack you or try to argue with you or something because you changed your mind at the last minute or whatever it is like, okay, this person's getting real interesting and you need to protect your peace. Eighth house and moon. Yeah. So uh, Scorpio moon in the eighth house, you got to move in silence. Aries. Especially the Scorpio moon in the eighth house. It's about wanting to be in control. Be mindful that this person, you know, there's conflict because of they feel out of control. That's what this is. This is conflict. Again, even on the diet, it's talking about conflict. So you're needing to protect your energy. One more for Aries. Yeah, again, you have like an energy of 
yeah, okay, justice. Like put an end to this or put a stop to something so that you can feel healthy or calm. Like someone's trying to ramp you up or rile you up because you're saying no to them, okay? That's kind of creepy behavior. Let's see. Uh, what can Aries focus on? Beneficial supportive for Aries. The Guadalupe card is coming to mind, especially right here. She looks like the Guadalupe card with the world in this. Yeah. Yep. Our Lady of Guadalupe. You saw it with your eyes. Okay. I'm telling you. Spirit is saying protect your energy. Okay. The Empress of Protection, I'm safe and divinely protected. I'm held in love at all times. What did I say? What did I say? You got to protect your energy, Aries. Please. Okay, someone's volatile. This is out of place. Like, I feel like this reaction is too much for what the situation is. So this person has kind of got like a screw loose. The possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. Be careful against all possibilities. So basically protect yourself against all possibilities. If there's any potential that this person's going to try to rile you up, make sure they don't have access to is what I'm getting. My soul knows the way. The only way out is through. I feel like, you know, pay attention to... Um, Your intuition is already telling you this. So that's what I'm getting. Focus for... Yeah, that does look like Guadalupe. <laughs> that's so interesting. Okay. You are good enough. Please. Absolutely. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So this Virgo is getting eclipsed. Okay, so there's a change in a relationship with a Virgo. Hmm. It could go either way. I'm getting it can go either way. Uh, a new romantic cycle begins with new moon in Libra. Okay. So I'm getting you're going to have a reconciliation with somebody. Okay. And don't settle for, I guess this would be like abuse. This is a verbal. Yeah. Be careful, man. That's, in, that's insane. Show me one for Aries. Like, even if you're trying to vet somebody and this person acts like that, that's wild. So I feel like that reading about red flags, the Aries reading for red flags, it really does apply here. I feel like this is a similar, if not same energy. And now it's happening. Even though that was like a prediction for freaking, I think it was July. It could be happening in the coming period here. And that's why it's coming up. Yeah. The way that readings timelines work is... um peculiar because it's spirit it's not it's not time okay so let's see so let's see be bold and make the first move okay cardinal moon you are good enough surrender to the divine yeah it's spirit surrender to the divine okay surrender to spirit I feel like you have to let go of something. You may have settled in the past based off of what you thought you were worth or your values or something, but you're, you're way better or you're worth more. And you know that. Thank you, Aries. Please hit the thumbs up. You know, that Guadalupe card was very magical. Okay. Spirits is in the building. I'll see you next time.